Good morning, my fellow scientists. It is Thursday, September 7th, 2017, and I want to talk about a new paper published in Hardware X describing a potentia stat that you may find interesting if you like batteries and doing battery prototyping and characterizing batteries and comparing batteries, or also aqueous electrochemistry experiments, or even more fancy non aqueous electrochemistry experiments. All of this falls under the general heading of being able to measure the electrical parameters of a chemical system. And this is a pretty cool instrument that can do that. It costs a couple hundred bucks, do it yourself, build it yourself kind of instrument, but it has all the capabilities of a several thousand dollar instrument and it's open source software that can be downloaded used and modified for free. So all those things make it a pretty impressive device. But we should start at the beginning. What is a potentiostat? Potentiostat is a instrument that applies current to an electrical system while measuring the voltage and then uses feedback to keep that voltage steady, hence potentiostat. Still, it's not moving. By holding the voltage constant and measuring the current and then scanning the applied voltage if you want, you can get a lot of information out of a chemical system. The most basic that I learned about in school was the cyclic voltammetry experiment. So I'm going to try to describe cyclic voltammetry in one minute and that's really hard. But let's start with a galvanic cell where you have silver on one side going to silver chloride and on the other side, we're just going to have nothing for starters. And if you have nothing, and you measure the voltage and the current across this whole battery system, if you apply more current, you get more voltage and vice versa, but it's all just a resistor. There's no chemistry happening. So this is just voltage, current, and V equals I, R, where R is the slope of that. It's just a resistor. Now, if you add chemistry, right, anything that can be oxidized or reduced over here on this side, then at some voltages, you're going to see some current. And if you go below that voltage, well, you're going to see the current go back the opposite way. So this is negative current and positive current, depending on whether you're above or below the critical voltage, basically charging and discharging, depending on what voltage you apply. Just for the record, for practical reasons, this is usually accomplished with a three electrode system, not a two electrode system, but I think it gets the point across more easily with two. So you can do a cyclic voltammetry experiment, usually on small chemical systems in order to characterize them, get some idea of what voltages they respond to, but you can use the same instrument to do larger scale experiments, controlled voltage reactions over time, during which you can monitor the current. Um, it gives you a lot of freedom to measure electro chemical systems because it should be programmable to do a controlled potential discharge or a controlled current discharge or vice versa charging uh, monitoring battery charging as well so uh, neat capability for a really affordable price relative to what most of these things are doing maybe I need to acquire one and demonstrate it here on this channel if at all possible so if you like that kind of thing chemistry electrochemistry batteries and learning about new publications describing all that kind of stuff. Tune in Monday through Friday. We talk about all that and more here in the Allen Lab.